case. A trial began this week in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, for a case that's been compared to the Trayvon Martin shooting. An elderly white man, John Henry Spooner, is facing first-degree intentional murder charges for the fatal shooting of his unarmed neighborhood. Uh, a 13-year-old African-American boy named Darius Simmons in May 2012. According to the criminal complaint, Spooner confronted Darius Simmons of stealing from his home. When Simmons denied it, Spooner shot him. The boy's mother witnessed her son's murder. Darius Simmons' aunt, Betty McQuiston, spoke at a vigil after the shooting. And his mom wanted everyone to know that he had his hands up, standing in front of him when he shot him. And then he turned to run. And he shot him again in his back. After witnessing her son's murder, Darius Simmons' mother, Patricia Larry, was reportedly forced to remain in a police car for more than an hour instead of being allowed to be with her son's body. Police searched her home for the firearm Spooner had accused the boy of stealing, but found nothing. He was her, his neighbor. They also arrested another of her sons on a year-old truancy violation. On Monday, at least one potential juror for the Spooner case was not chosen after he expressed anger over the Zimmerman verdict. Of the 14 jurors selected Monday, only one is African-American. Um, if you could uh, tell us more about this, Kalia Kuno. Well, I mean, just briefly, uh, we see, the again, the same pattern. Uh, the, particularly in the jury selection, uh, we see the same pattern of how the, the police were derelict in their duties to gather the information, uh, how they treated the, the mother and uh, her, the rest of her family as if they were guilty. Uh, we see the same pattern. It speaks to the mindset uh, of criminalizing blackness, of criminalizing black people that Michelle Alexander was breaking down to you, that we see a systematic throughout this country and that, really, we have to get at the heart of and have a much deeper conversation. And I think the mass movement, which is taking place uh, in response, is an opening shot to have that conversation, to really talk about race in a more substantive way and to, to basically, I think, uh, uh, deal with the policies that we need uh, to transform, uh, you know, the, the stop and frisk, the war on drugs. Because that's ultimately what we're talking about and what has to take place in this country.